Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft carriers are some of the most survivable and adaptable airfields on Earth. Created as the crown jewel of the U.S. Navy, they are filled with trained sailors from around the country, ready for a mission at any time. From conducting strikes to controlling the waters, aircraft carriers are truly capable of so much maritime force. Built to withstand any form of attack, most maritime aircraft carriers offer yearly sink exercise, or SYNC-X, drills to test U.S. Navy vessels. Vulnerable at sea on its own, a 2014 SYNC-X at sea showered steam and sparks in the air as crew members tried its weapons. To attack a U.S. aircraft carrier, there are several threats to life on the open sea, including ballistic or cruise missiles. Plus, tethered mines or torpedoes can pop up at any time. That's why special naval forces need strong coping tactics for each strike, like built-in weapon systems. Known as the Phalanx CIWS, these gun-based weapon systems can defend vessels against boats, missiles, and aircraft. On the USS Abraham Lincoln, sailors prep for battle by propelling calibration fire pre-action, shooting 4,500 rounds a minute. Aboard the Lincoln, sailors spend their days firing live ammo from their Nimitz-class carrier. Equipped with 50 caliber machine guns, they conduct target practice at the edge of the carrier's deck. Staring to scopes and aiming at the open sea, USS Abraham Lincoln's crew is ready and prepared for anything. As they reload military-grade ammunition rounds, empty shells scatter at their boot-clad feet. When it comes to anti-aircraft missiles and air defense systems on board, the USS Carl Vinson has it covered. In 2021, this nuclear carrier created a splash with its RIM-116 rolling airframe missile, or RAM, live fire exercise. Designed to defend against cruise missiles, the RAM is as high power as it gets. Floating on the Philippine Sea in 2018, the USS Ronald Reagan practiced its very own RAM live fire drill on board. Performed every other year, the Valiant Shield training was the seventh most crucial exercise for navies at sea. As a necessary step for its flight deck certificate, an aircraft carrier has to pass with flying colors to recover and launch an aircraft. Sailing along the Arabian Sea in 2020, USS Nimitz presented its fail-proof flight operation. With air surveillance measures in mind, this aircraft carrier was made to make maritime security a priority. Sent to US 5th Fleet Aria, USS Nimitz connects the Pacific and the Mediterranean at three choke points. Its ultimate goal is simple, to ensure the free flow of global commodities on the high seas. Thankfully, they have electronic surveillance aircraft tracking systems like E2D Advanced Hawkeye.
a revolution in how the Navy commands battles, Hawkeye gives sailors a bird's eye view of the battlefield like never before. As fighters on USS Nimitz launched aircraft above the aircraft carrier's flight deck in 2013, everything was coordinated to the T. The goal was to deploy the military vessel's sailors to coordinate with E-2D Advanced Hawkeye to neutralize or shoot its enemies. Set on the high, windy Arabian Sea, USS Nimitz crew members stood by as the aircraft ascended into the air as helicopter propellers chopped the skies. On top of that, naval sailors also stand guard as helicopters land from lengthy missions away at sea. Using specialized hand signals to lead the way, another military aircraft landed safely on Nimitz. Sliding along the Bay of Bengal, an EA-18G Growler and a CMV-22B Osprey took flight over the high seas in late 2021. With the gauntlets of electronic attack and titans of fleet logistics, multi-mission squadrons in the lead, it was a great success. A big part of the Malabar 2021 event, this seaside exercise was invented to enhance communication and inoperability at sea. Also, these drills tackle popular security priorities ahead of attacks, increasing integration. At the end of the day though, the drill was made to build strong ties between the U.S. and other international naval forces. Cruising along the Sea of Japan in 2017, USS Carl Vinson and Carrier Air Wing 2 traveled with USS Lake Champlain, USS Wayne E. Meyer, and USS Michael Murphy. Joining the ranks of Ronald Reagan Strike Group also included USS Ronald Reagan, Carrier Air Wing 5, and USS Shiloh. Not to mention USS Barry, USS McCampbell, USS Fitzgerald, and USS Mustin brought Japanese ships Hyuga and JS Ashigara in tow. Together, U.S. Navy trains with Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force to refine team readiness. Not only that, but training also adds security to the Asian Pacific Ocean. In order to support global partners and allies in the U.S., Fifth Fleet Operations Areas, these military maritime vessels offer sea security to the max. As far as guided missile cruisers go, you can't get any more secure than USS Bunker Hill and USS Theodore Roosevelt drifting on the Arabian Gulf in 2017. To preserve free-flowing commerce, these aircraft carriers work ceaselessly with their strike group to maintain free-flowing trade. that doesn't mean these warships aren't battling an unseen, enemy-submerged submarine. 
That means strategic patrols are critical. During a 2022 torpedo exercise, or TORPEX, HMCS Winnipeg, a Royal Canadian Navy frigate, takes the lead. Throughout the Rim of the Pacific, or RIMPAC, event, more than 25,000 personnel, 170 aircraft, and three submarines participated. But that's not all. Almost 40 ships and over 25 countries took part in Rim Pack 2. Held from late June to early August, from Southern California to the Hawaiian Islands, Rim Pack is the largest naval exercise on the seven seas. Stacked with seasoned sailors, it's no wonder RIMPAC is the best space for fostering relationships. Starting in 1971, RIMPAC 2022 marks the Navy's 28th official exercise. However, in regard to maritime security for commercial ships, the Navy has taken it to a whole new level. Unlike popular films and documentaries, piracy is an actual violent act by seaborne criminals. With precious cargo and other supplies at stake, airship carriers must take extra precautions to stay safe. That's where water cannons come in, an extremely clever and creative way to keep any roaming nearby pirates at bay. Spraying nearly 1,350 gallons of water every minute at pressures ranging near 175 pounds per square inch, or PSI. In naval level sea security, it's not uncommon to see fire hoses used to battle those pesky pirates, especially if they're trying to board. By spraying water at an opposing boat, these ships ensure they keep a safe space between themselves and a distant enemy. Both unstabilized and distracted, sometimes this is the best defense. Since we're talking about non-lethal pirate traps on carriers, it makes sense to mention the anti-piracy P-trap system. Used for self-protection on seagoing vessels, it prevents pirate plundering. There are 20 P-trap lines extended on both sides of the vessel by a spreader bar designed to withstand simultaneous attacks from multiple pirate boats, they can get tangled up in these wayward lines, stalling their engine and immobilizing the vessel's propulsion. With simplicity at its core, the heart of the P-trap is its swivel boom system, allowing easy fastening and deployment. Unsurprisingly, it swept up a Safety at Sea Award as well. Whether sailing the Bay of Bengal or exploring the Arabian Sea, there's almost nothing a U.S. aircraft carrier cannot do. This is especially true when it comes to the safety and security of the nuclear-powered warship and its sailing crew, which is assured by the built-in weapon systems as well as the air and sea-supported measures, providing protection at all times. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.